I'll go to my AWS account. Launch instance. So select a name. You can put Windows. So you can put IA. Just write a heading IAS. Internet Information Service Web Server. That also example for a web server provided by who? Microsoft or Windows. Okay. Not ISS, IAS. <laughs> okay. I will select Windows instead of using Mac OS or Ubuntu or Amazon Linux. I will select Windows operating system. Come down. So we have to select one key pair Internet Information Service. Okay. So I will select a key pair as a key one. Uh, enable port number uh, 80 or 80. Uh, 443 we can enable anyone okay so by default i'm enabling port number 80 and 22 come down then launch instance and this is going to create one windows virtual machine let's wait open instance and here you can see that windows ias right so now it is a pending state so once it active and running i'll try to connect virtual machine okay so we cannot connect through ssh you getting so we have to use one protocol or we have to use one uh, tool for that RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol. What is the port number of RDP? Eh? 3389. So can we change the port? Can we? We can. We can change it. We can. So port is that is customizable. So by default that will be allotted in that port but we can change. Okay. So now you can see that that is active and running. So I will connect this virtual machine, Windows virtual machine. So select RDP client. Listen, listen. Select RDP client. So now you can see that download RDP remote desktop file. See, if your system doesn't support RDP file, then you have to download this file. See, uh, when it come to my system, I have already RDP file in, in my uh, like desktop. Tip. See, RDP. So I can put the public IP address of my virtual machine, then I can connect. I'll show you how we can connect. So, but we have to wait at least three minutes. Okay, let's wait. Uh, here you can see uh, if I go yeah. to get password, I will enable get password and we will okay. So now is available. So I'll go to my upload a private key file. So what is my key name? Key one. I will select key one. Open. Okay. So this is my key, right? So now I will encrypt the password. Dec sorry, decrypt the password. Sorry. Enter. So we got a custom password or a default password, uh, one a DNS name or a public AP address, then one username. So I will download this remote desktop file successfully downloaded. I will open this file. So this is that file, right? So I will open this file. Connect. So what is my username? Administrator. Okay. I'll copy and paste. Okay. Already administrator, right? I'll copy and paste the password. That's enough. Copy and paste. Click on us and it will open one Windows virtual machine and we can access graphical user interface over here. Let's wait. So it's successfully connected to EC2 to uh, 233-105-148 AP South 1 Compute Amazon.com. So this is my virtual machine. If I minimize over here, you can see the my actual system. So I'll open this and you can see that this is my virtual machine, Windows virtual machine. So this is loading and once it's loading, we will try to install IAS server. Okay, Internet Information Service. It's very important. Okay, now you can see that successfully I logged into my Windows uh, web server, right? So now we have to install what? IAS, Internet Information Service. So for that, uh, I'll refresh this system once. Refresh. Refresh. Okay. So now we have to open open server manager. So let's click over here. Server manager. I will put server manager. Okay, server manager. Okay, this server so uh, so we have a application server manager since it is a server. So this application not available in your local system. Okay. So since it is a server, so will be an option server manager and you can see the host name, instance ID and private IP address, public IP, private IP, architecture, everything you can see over here, right? I will open server manager. Then I will install my Windows IAS, Internet Information Service.
Okay. So let's wait. So once it completes the loading, then I'll try to install one Windows IIS. Okay. So we can install DNS server. We can install database server on Windows machine. So everything. So we can uh, install by uh, just clicking add uh, roles and features. Okay. So let it complete. I think successfully completed. I will click add roles and features. Okay. Server man is collecting inventory data. Wait. Still it's collecting the inventory data. Okay, so now I will click add roles and features. Okay, so here you'll be able to find uh, one option next, click next. 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 Okay, so here you'll be able to find DHCP server, DNS server, Active Directory. We can convert this server as an Active Directory as well. Okay. So if I come down, you'll be able to find web server. What is it? IAS. I will select web, web server IAS, then add a feature. Okay, then next. Next, 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 then install. Okay, starting installation. So once it's complete, then I'll uh, get the public API address. Then I will search. I'll be getting on test page over there for a Windows proprietorship. So let's wait. Okay, it's already started installation. Wait. So now tomorrow we'll discuss about database. Okay. So in virtual machine, how we how to create a database? See, already we have a managed database providing AWS, AWS RDS. But but instead of using RDS, we can create a RDS on our virtual machine inside virtual machine EC2. So that we can do it. Okay, so we can reduce our cost. The purpose is reduce our cost. Suppose if you're using AWS Manager RDS, you have to pay more amount over there. Suppose if you're using Virtual Machine RDS, you only need to pay very less amount because the complete management that is doing administrator. Okay, so let me go to Virtual Machine. Okay, so okay, it is installing progress, progress rate. Hold on. Hello, Arjun, But I'm not sure if you can record a video. Pick it on, I'm going to go to the computer. I'm going to go to the computer. Okay, successfully installed. See, listen, listen, please. Successfully installed. Installed. Installation succeeded, right? I will close this. Then I will go to my Windows machine. Okay. I'll get the public AP address or DNS name. Then I will paste over here. Paste and. And you can see that uh, Windows IAS web server. Right. And tomorrow we'll discuss how to change the port number of IAS and how to add a small application on IAS. So that we will discuss tomorrow. Any other doubts? No. Then we'll discuss tomorrow. Thank you.